Uh, hey, everybody. This is Eric. I'm Alex. And uh, first of all, thank you to all of you for all your support for the great conversations we've been watching on the MedSchool.it Facebook page. Uh, we love you, and we're here to answer more of your questions. And the question for today's video about medical schools in English in Italy is... Student exchange. What is it about? How does it work? Student exchanges. Now, on this topic between the two of us, the real expert is Alex, because Alex has gone on an Erasmus student exchange. We'll explain what Erasmus is in a moment. Uh, I have not. So he's going to really uh, break it all down for you. Uh, but uh, before we talk about what student exchange is, we want to tell you what it's not. Yeah. So uh, you have to really realize the difference, right? So a student exchange is not you transferring to a different university, completing your degree somewhere else while you're studying in Italy initially, right? So student exchange is basically spending a period of time which ranges between one semester to two years maximum in a partner university, could be around Europe mostly, some people manage to even go beyond. And uh, the nice thing about it is that you actually get all your exams recognized. So you're, you're, a, uh, you're becoming a factually a student of that host university. And all the exams you take in that university will be recognized by your home university in Italy. So you go on to this experience, you get back, and you finalize your studies in Italy. That's the basic concept of students exchange. What it doesn't also mean, it doesn't mean you have to find an exchange partner. So you don't need a student from that hosting university to come and swap with you for that year. That's being taken care of. There's nothing really you should worry about. Good. So uh, the main type of student exchange that you have with the English med schools in Italy is something called Erasmus. Now it's actually called Erasmus Plus, uh, and it's an old program in the European Union where you have European students from different countries going to each other's countries, learning each other's languages. And this is really a cultural phenomenon in Europe. Uh, there have been movies made about Erasmus. The idea is to help unify the European Union. Yeah. So what nice, so nice about Erasmus, I think, is that it is probably one of the biggest exchange programs. And whatever everybody, somebody is talking about an exchange here, it's probably an Erasmus in Europe. And the nice thing about it is that it's heavily funded. So you actually get a scholarship while you're abroad, something about around 250 euros, sometimes a little bit more. And you don't pay the fees of the hosting university. You basically continue to pay the normal tuition fees of your home Italian university. That's really nice because you know it doesn't require much more effort on your side. Yes, and remember the Italian university Uh, med schools are very inexpensive. They range between zero and 4,000 euros a year. So Alex, you did your uh, Erasmus here in uh, Deutschland. Yeah, uh, actually I did. So um, And we're going to do the rest of the interview in German. <laughs> just, just joking. So yeah. <laughs> Good try. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah so uh, for me, an Erasmus was really, uh, you know, a life-changing experience, you could say, because There are many reasons why people go to an Erasmus and it's, uh, for me, it was the new language. So it was an opportunity to me to learn German, the German culture, to see how the, like the whole, you know, medical area, like career oriented, uh, uh, things are working for me and get some contacts, get, you know, the foot into the door, so to say. Um, and it, uh, it was actually in Tübingen. So, uh, university in Southern Germany, which I went, uh, for for a year uh and actually i even uh, came back to tubingen once again so i did like sort of two erasmus as you can say the second one was for a trainership after i graduated yeah. so um for me it was really uh, a plus afterwards so whenever i was going for example looking for a job which i actually found in tubingen eventually so that here you are you have the direct consequences of that mm -hmm. that was a big plus to have been in the university Uh, have studied there and uh, shown already some contact, you know, knowledge of contacts and uh, how things work in there. Yeah. And if for those of you who don't know, Tubingen is an absolutely beautiful little place with fantastic cake called Black Forest Cherry Cake. <laughs> uh, so, uh, but of course, all of Europe has its own beautiful uniqueness about it. That's one of the great things about studying here. Uh, now, the big question you probably have is, how do you get into an exchange program while you're a student at one of the med schools in Italy? So there is a process. 
Yeah, so basically the exchange works with a partner university, which means that your home university in Italy has a sort of an exchange contract with that partner university. And for example, Pavia has a really wide range of universities, including Paris and uh, Germany, like in Berlin, everywhere probably. And um, but every university just allocates uh, between, let's say, two to five places, some sometime a little bit more for exchanges. So you actually compete on those places. And for example, people who went to Paris had quite a big competition, despite the fact that we have, I think, three exchange uh, universities with Paris, like two, three different universities there. And uh, the competition is uh, made uh, in the following way. So basically, the bando, uh, as always, comes out. The official document about the Erasmus comes out. You apply and then you go to a sort of uh, selection process in which things that really matter are what, how high your marks were during the studies till, till that point, how many exams you've managed, how good is your language level, because most of the time you'll be studying in a native language of that country. So you have to demonstrate that you're actually capable of doing it. Yeah. And uh, afterwards, you also have to show that you're motivated and some other soft criteria, I would say. I just want to throw in here, despite the fact that there's a competition to get into various Erasmus programs, I don't know personally of any student who wanted to do an Erasmus and ended up not getting into any. In other words, you might not get into your first choice, but usually you will get into some program. Is that your experience too? Exactly, yeah. So you can... You can uh sort of rank several universities which you want to go to and based on your performance during the selection you will end up in one of those which right. is which is great makes yeah. your chances better uh -huh. mm -hmm. great uh, and uh, your exams are recognized as you mentioned and how different was the medical education in Germany and Tübingen compared to what you were doing in Pavia yeah, so that's that's also like one thing you get to see how how medical studies look like uh, in other places. Um, for me, it was it was a very interesting experience. So it wasn't totally different. Mm -hmm. So you would expect maybe Germans have it in a different way. So it was surprising. <laughs> they still study with lectures and they still do clinical rotations. Mm -hmm. um, in Germany, for example, it was more devised. So th there was a big a stricter division between the lectures and the clinical rotations. It wasn't such a mix that like we have in Pavia. And um, exams were mostly written. And it was like the, the biggest surprise for me mm -hmm. when I had to take basically three exams on the same day, basically one after the other. I was just flipping the page and the <laughs> next uh, subject exam yeah, was coming. Yeah, yeah. And that was just, I, I don't know how people managed, but ever, all the exams were um, uh, multiple choice and uh, were quite straightforward. So first uh, semester for me was a bit challenging because of language, of course. You you can study all the German you want, but the academic German is always like one notch higher as a level. Uh, but uh, the second semester was much better. And I, joy I enjoyed the city so much and uh, met many friends and many made many connections as well. So it was really a worthwhile experience. There are really a whole bunch of different reasons to go on an Erasmus, right? They range from having this cultural experience that you're talking about to having a different kind of academic experience. Also, you can try to go to a university where you might have a professor or a department which specializes in the thing that you're interested in, right? So uh, for example, if you have a university which is particularly good in ophthalmology and you want to be an ophthalmologist, uh, you may do an Erasmus year at that university. Yeah, exactly. So there are many reasons why people go to an Erasmus. Imagine uh, after studying five years in, in the same university, you might want to just change scenario a bit and it's nice and refreshing to go somewhere abroad. It's also um, a chance to learn this new language you, you, can, uh, you can do during your studies. But for many people, it's also sort of a relaxing time. You know, I, I know quite a lot of guys who just and girls who went to uh, Spain, I think, and just had a blast of, of a year there studying <laughs> right. medicine still. Yes. Studying uh, medicine still. Studying medicine, but it was it, it was a nice yeah, uh, yeah. sort of year for them. Yeah, sure, of course. And people come to Italy too. There are Erasmus students at uh, Pavia and Milan and all the other med schools, and you get to hang out with them. That's one of the cool things about actually doing medical school in English in Italy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, our next question you probably have in your mind is after you graduate, where can you work? Where is your degree recognized? And that subject is 
for our next video. So click on that when you get a chance. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our videos here. Just press this little button. Uh, go to medschool.it and our Facebook group, medschool.it, for all the information you need about med schools in English in Italy. As always, it's great to see you. And uh, ciao. 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 ciao.